All right, this is a quick tutorial on the Black Death. Uh, the Black Death refers to the period of plague that struck Europe between 1347 and 1351. While most historians agree that the Black Death was the bubonic plague, there are some historians who believe other factors were involved in addition to bubonic plague, uh, one of them being anthrax. Uh, it killed up to one third of Europe's population. This is a nasty little bug called Yersinia pestis. This is the bug that actually caused the plague. Now, it traveled on the trade routes in what can be best described as a circle, but it arrives in, in uh, Sicily, and then it makes its way to the mainland, and it makes its way around in what best be described as a circle. It travels on the trade routes. You have several forms of death when we're referring to the plague. Uh, you have bubonic plague, by far the most common, but you also have pneumonic plague, septicemic, and enteric plague. Now the symptoms of bubonic plague are chills, high fever, delirium, vomiting, and rapid heartbeat. Uh, you, you would get what's called bubos, or bubos, uh, which were inflamed, inflamed swellings in the armpit and neck. Uh, they enlarge to the size of small eggs. Eventually, they would burst. Uh, and you would experience death within three to six days. Uh, if you ever had a boo-boo, that's where they get the word from. <coughs> Pneumonic and septicemic. Pneumonic uh, was a respiratory illness that developed during the cold months. It often killed within a few hours, and it passed from human to human. Septicemic is the deadliest and the rarest. It killed virtually every victim and attacked the bloodstream. Although often killed within a few hours sounds like it's pretty deadly to me too. Now, the medieval mind, how did you cope? Well, you prayed. That's how you avoided. Uh, and with people dying all around you, there was also an expectation that you avoid worry. Fill your house with pleasant smelling flowers. Uh, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. That's where that comes from. And to sort of contradict the one above it, breathing in the smell of sewage. To treat, you do the good old-fashioned bleeding. You bathe those buboes with vinegar or sear those buboes with a red-hot iron. Not everyone died who got the bubonic plague, incidentally. Many did, though. This guy is a plague doctor. Very interesting outfit. Not sure if I can explain the bird mask. Flagellants. These are religious zealots. Now, a zealot is someone who goes above and beyond their religious faith. They believed the Black Death was God's punishment. And they would wear black robes and travel town to town. They would whip themselves publicly to show penance for man's sins, as we save document. Uh, remember, the, the, the church believed that you needed to suffer to show penance. And just like Christ suffered on the cross... Uh, according to Catholic doctrine, that's what these people would do, and they were suffering from man's sins. Now, so now we come up with the impact of the Black Death. Most importantly, death of feudalism. With the shortage of workers, serfs began demanding not only wages, but higher wages. It gives birth to a middle class, which spells the end of the feudal system. People begin to question the church. Now remember, the church was powerless to help. They couldn't explain what was going on. And some moved away from the church's teaching and some moved closer. And it's important to remember that some people actually blamed the church because at the time the plague strikes, it's important to remember that the pope was in Avignon, France, not Rome. And many people thought that the pope was a puppet to the French king. And so this was God's judgment. Spirit of inventiveness spread across Europe. The printing press shows up eventually. You needed new doctors. And most importantly, you have the uh, appearance of boards of health for the first time that would regu regulate what you had to do with a dead body, that you had to enclose them into a coffin. You couldn't leave garbage out in the street. You had to get, dispose of it in some, some sort of way. And began a movement to clean up the cities. Impact on art? Death was a common theme. It would show up, at, uh, death would show up in everyday life. It showed that death could come at any moment. So you got this guy work, looking inside his uh, little beaker here, and you got the dead guy here. I think this is a snake coming through his eye. 
pretty weird. And of course, uh, as in the past, European Christians blamed Jews. In some t cases, they were accused of poisoning the wells. Uh, in one case, in Strasbourg, France, 2,000 Jewish men, women, and children uh, were killed. Many other acts of anti-Semitism took place throughout Europe. This despite the fact that the Jews were dying in equally high numbers.